this is our final speaker. I'd like to introduce Ronnie Harper. Thank you. Woo! He's going to be right on. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Ron Harper Jr. on Facebook, Facebook slash Ron Harper Jr. if you'd like to find me. I like to uh, network with fellow patriots. Oliver Cromwell said, put your trust in God, but keep your powder dry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My friends, I'd like to suggest to you that we in this movement begin to say to one another as we depart, Keep the powder dry. Yes. Because, my friends, we are at a time in which all the events that are occurring and have been occurring over my lifetime, I'm 49. Before I go on, I just want to say a little bit about myself. I'm a father of five. I'm a, a Lancaster Bible College graduate. I'm a ninth generation Lancaster Countyan. I have two two sons in the United States Marine Corps. Yeah! 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 Let's hope Mr. Peace Prize keeps my boys alive. Yeah. 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 In the White House. Uh, yeah. This is a uh, the anti-imperialism that I have long since advocated has become very personal to me. But tonight, today we're here to talk about guns. And, you know, I'm, I'm following up with some great speakers, and they are all fantastic. So they've covered a lot of what I wanted to say. I'm not going to be long. But, you know, when the preamble of our Constitution, I just want to read it. It says, we the people of the Commonwealth, grateful to Almighty God for the blessings of civil and religious liberty, and humbly invoking his guidance to ordain and establish this Constitution. Let's be clear about something. If you've read the Declaration of Independence, how many of you have? Yeah. Please note that the Declaration of Independence applies to who? Everyone in America. Everyone in the world. The Declaration of Independence that declares that the God-given rights that are spelled out in the Declaration of Independence are the world's. Yeah. They're not just us. If you're born in Mexico, you have those rights. If you're born in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Iran, you have those rights. And we are very, very uncertain, I believe, about our founding documents. But in Article 1, which Darrell clearly spelled out, it says, it starts in the beginning, that the general, great, and essential principles of liberty and free government may be recognized and unalterably established, we declare. Do you get that? I'm going to read that again. That the essential principles of liberty and free government may be recognized and unalterably established. We declare these rights. Folks, I remind every elected public official that the essential principles of liberty and free government is their first order. Yeah. It's not their second order. Folks, let's keep the powder dry. Yeah. 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 Now, section two that Darrell also referenced, I want you to hear this. It says that all power is inherent in who? The people. The people have all power. And all free governments are founded on their authority. And their and instituted for their peace, exactly. safety, and happiness. Exactly. For the advancement of these ends, they have at all times an inalienable and indefeasible right. Yes. We have the right. right. Now listen, folks, this is so important. You want to get your diner friends to look at you like you're not a whack job, <laughs> you quote the Constitution of Pennsylvania. Because guess what, folks? Revolution is built into our Constitution. Yeah. Here's what it says. They have at all times the right to alter, reform, or abolish their government in such manner as they may think proper. Yeah. Not them. Now 
Now, folks, you know, to the average vacuum-packed meat-buying wussies <laughs> of society today, when our elected officials say, hey, the, the Second Amendment's for hunting, you know, they buy into that. They walk into the grocery store for their meat. But folks, it's ridiculous to even think that our forefathers, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I have roots back to 1611 here, uh, not 16, 1650 in Pennsylvania. There, it's ridiculous. My forefather, my grandfather was John Morton, signer of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. He did not sign the Declaration of Independence to give people the right to hunt. Folks, he did give the people the right to hunt. Tyrants! Yeah! Be very clear when Article 1, Section 21 says that that the right of citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. Yeah. yeah. Which part of shall not don't they get? Now, I don't know if you know this, folks, but in the 18th century, there were three, three rebellions in the United States. Did you know that? Two of the rebellions were right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Woo! Yeah. Folks, I want you to think about this for a minute. This is the stock that we come from. Yeah. Folks, two of the rebellions in the United States started right here, folks. Yeah. 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 The blood pumping through your veins were, came from people that said to the government, you are not going to push us around. You are our servants. We are your masters. Yeah. Yeah. Now, folks, one of them was the Whiskey Rebellion, yeah. of which you're familiar. George Washington sent troops. But the one you probably don't know about was called the Hot Water, Hot Water Rebellion. And it happened right over here in Bucks County. And a bunch of patriots lined up and said, we are not going to put up with your property tax. They came out and they measured windows and how many fireplaces and how big. And you know what they did? They picked up their arms and they ran them out of town. They dumped hot water on them. That's, that's hence the hot water rebellion. And the leader of the, of the rebellion, as well as a number of people, were sentenced to be hung. No. And John Adams, the President of the United States, in response to the people of the United States, which said, no way, no way, he pardoned every one of them. Good. Yes. Now, folks, when President Obama signs 30 executive orders regarding gun control, what do we say to him? Keep the powder dry! When Dianne Feinstein gets a law that says these 150 guns should be made illegal, what do we say to her? Keep the power dry! Folks! Reserve the guillotine, Feinstein. Now, let's be clear. Our, our revolution from Britain, then the world's largest power, came at a great price. Let's not take this lightly. Let's not assume and think that the idea of controlling this great power is not without great cost. And I started out quoting Oliver Cromwell. Yeah, really. He said, put your trust in God. Amen. My friends, God gave us rights. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And as we go about, let's keep our Heavenly Father in mind that, yeah. and ask for His guidance. Yes. Let's not, as Jesus said, live by the sword. 
because you will die by the sword. Yes. The Declaration of Independence makes it very clear that people will put up with a whole lot for a whole lot of time before they throw off tyrants. They don't do it for transient reasons, it says. And folks, as we go and we ask our elected officials, let's keep this in mind, that we show restraint, and we show that we are doing things and we're appealing to them intellectually and emotionally and trying to do it in such a way that we can restore freedom and liberty in our time. So folks, today, when you leave here, what are you going to tell your friends and your old and new friends? Keep the powder dry. Right? Amen. Let's keep Amen. the powder dry right. because, yeah. folks, keep the powder dry means we prepare and we ready ourselves. But, folks, while we open carry, while we carry our guns and we buy our 30 round clips and, <laughs> and a thousand rounds, which will make us marked by the Department of Homeland Security, keep in mind, folks that it's not for transient reasons that we would ever dare use them. But folks, those, those armaments that we all have and that we all treasure, because we know that they're the keys to keeping and preserving our liberties, are not to be used without restraint. But folks, it's so important that we keep the powder dry. Thank you. Yeah.